previously on Redbeard's Garage. Test number two. Our tax didn't hold last time. <laughs> Stiff as a board. So that's the only thing we was worried about with these large shocks is you need quite a bit of uh, leverage because they're so heavy duty. We can't necessarily move them any further straight up to make them softer because we're out of room right here. We can lower them down. Yeah, that's way too stiff. Oh, yeah. One ton truck ready. Mm -hmm. Go haul some firewood. Yeah. <laughs> now we got to cut all those tacks. <laughs> so we've been plucking away at this bat buggy to get it done for this weekend so we can ride it. Um, and we ran into a few issues. When me and Lonnie swapped the wheels onto it when it was out back on the first episode, uh, we noticed that the front rims, these uh, aluminum wheels from Go Power Sports, wouldn't clear the brake calipers. Uh, so to get it in the garage, we just pulled the calipers off of it so we can put the wheels on it to roll it in the garage when we was going to worry about it later. This cart came with 10 inch front and rear wheels. Almost all 150s come with 10 inch rear wheels and 8 inch front wheels. So that's a problem because it's got a bigger disc on the front which means the caliper is further out. So this has like a 6 inch rotor where a normal 150 has a 5 inch and these are the new Go Power Sports brake set. I put a new master cylinder on it and I was going to run all new brakes but these wheels will not clear that brake. So the problem is if we put a different set of wheels that will clear, we're not gonna be able to have matching tires on front and rear. I really like these uh, long life tires from Go Power Sports because this is a street themed style build. So I wanted to keep that. Uh, we're gonna pull these front brakes off and block them off. So this part will only have rear disc brakes. And what we can do later in a month or so when we're gonna add a big charging system to this engine 
that we're putting on here, we can basically pull these rotors off and use the smaller Go Power Sports rotors. Then we can cut the caliper mount off and shorten it or just make a whole new one to sink that caliper in quite a bit. Because normally the caliper almost touches the hub, it's so close. So I'm gonna get the front brakes deleted. I just gotta go buy some bolts that'll block off the holes in the master cylinder. And then if you ever delete front or rear brakes on a 150, the pin to the right is uh, the rear brakes. Pin to the left is a front brake. So we'll pull this pin completely out so it's not pushing anything. And we can block off the two ports where the brake lines go. And we should be good to go. So we'll get that done. And uh, we gotta start mounting the engine, running fuel lines and throttle cable. So I cut the corner of the little spindle mount right there so the tire can get uh, full turning and then I blocked off those two ports on the uh, brake master cylinder as well. I have taken off one of the push rods so brakes just need bled then we can throw this front cowl area back on, align it and then throw the engine back on and she's close. <laughs> she's done and we're about to take it for a rip we're going to do a top speed run we're going to do a couple rips around the back track and take it to the school and get some good drone footage i think on top speed it'll do around 55 i, I haven't heard of that so i have no idea well it's geared at 7,000 rpms i think it's supposed to sit 65 i think but i can't remember lonnie's a lot lighter he's half the weight as me half the man yeah just bring it up over and over. <laughs> I just eat cheese and butter most of the time. That's a good diet. But look at me. My grandfather ate that diet and he lived to the ripe old age of 42. <laughs> we mounted this exhaust, pointed to the side because we thought it looked pretty dope. And uh, Daniel fabbed up a little flat stock bracket so the engine can still be pushed up and down. We did a 32 millimeter flat slide, Kian replica carb. Oh, boys in China help us out. Uh, and remember, this got billet flywheel, billet rod, a 308 cam, uh, 65 pound double valve springs, and chrome ollie push rod. And uh, it's pretty quick. It's stout. It actually overdoes that 40 series torque converter. It wants to kick in high gear fast if you're spinning a lot. So, so I had to make a real quick side note in today's video. Uh, you'll notice when we ride this go-kart on the track we built in the backyard, it wants to bog a lot. Like it's staying in the lower RPMs. Now we thought it was because we was overpowering this 40 series torque converter, which we are, because this engine makes around 25 or more horse and who knows how much torque. Uh, so a 40 series not designed for that much power. We've had good luck running and abusing a 40 series from Go Power Sports on a 670 on built 420s and never had a really a problem other than you're gonna go through belts more often than you would if you used a 780 torque converter. Go Power Sports does make a 780. Links for all this stuff is linked in the video's description. And a 780 can handle up to 60 horsepower. Uh, but we just had this 40 series laying around wanting to slap it on it. In the next video, you're going to see us make so much more power than we did in this video because of what we found in the front drive pulley. So this is your typical stock spring, yellow spring. It's not painted yellow because Go Power Sports has their own pulleys made. Uh, Comet would paint these yellow, but they're the same exact as a yellow Comet spring. These are what comes out of a brand new 40 series torque converter, the drive pulley. You have three of them that hooks to rollers. Now you can adjust your RPM engagement by putting a red spring or I think a blue spring and then doing combinations with different weights inside of it. Well, this is the springs we pulled out of our pulley used in today's video. 
This was used on the 670 a long time ago on the channel and we abused that go-kart and really overpowered that 40 series. And you can see the difference in length oh, of these springs. This one's way stretched out and this is probably due to overpowering it and to heat. But uh, it's crazy what we've done to this pulley. So we upgraded this with some Go Power Sports Red Springs. As I said, links will be in the video's description. And it's crazy. Next video, you're going to want to stay tuned to Friday's video because we make a ton more power to the ground than we did in this video. So let's get back to the ride footage. Yeah, I could tell the uphill. Like you we can said feel before, it go to the high gear quickly. Too fast. Like yeah, it's still fast. building RPMs really hard, and then it kicks in high gear. It's fun though, isn't it? Oh yeah. Uh, even uh, on the road, it, it's pretty fun. When I came back, there was a car there that wanted me to do donuts in the. Did you do? Yard. It? Oh yeah. Uh, did it feel pretty good? Oh yeah. That's what it I love. Kicked around easily. Yeah, when I built that swing arm, I knew I would have no problems whatsoever about kicking chains. That's what I. That's why I do the five axle bearings. So make sure to use our links for Go Power Sports and buy extra axle bearings. Always put one on each side of the sprocket. So uh, always put a center axle bearing at least. Because we can beat the far of this thing. It ain't going to break. Yeah, we need a, uh, a water vehicle pretty bad yeah. to water the track down. Sorry, neighbors. Look at that. That's horrible. But uh, what? Uh, what's your opinion on it? Oh, this thing's fun. That's, got, uh, that's how the track's supposed to be ridden. Yeah, it's it's got a ton of power. Aubrey stays up in the high RPMs, 
this thing does everything you need low just blah 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 but uh, she's fast i'm gonna take it a couple laps and uh felt like i got more and more confidence down in that corner the first few times i kind of went slow because that tree's right there yeah but that thing's dug out perfectly to where your tires hit it and pull you oh yeah the yeah when it rained last time he's talking about the corner where the rock is when it rained last time we wore it out so it's a uh, she's a fun track so i think we're going to take this down to the school and see how it handles on asphalt but that's for a separate video so mm -hmm.